In this video, we're going to talk about buy to let lending criteria and highlight some of the lenders that our brokers have got access to that are only exclusively available via brokers. So you can't contact them directly and why working with a good broker will give you this whole host of criteria that you may not be aware of. What happens if the property is not quite right? What happens if the income is different? What happens if the, your age is not different? What happens if you've got a portfolio and a couple of them are empty? What happens if you're looking to buy a block and the block is not quite right? What happens if it's a studio flat? What happens if you are, you know, there's four of you looking to buy? What about limited company stuff? What happens if you want to get a gift from your parents, for example, on a buy to let? What happens if you want to do, um, you know, a different type of transaction, okay? So uh, bridging finance, flipping it, light refurbishment, we, we talk about all of those things and highlight some of the lenders that are potentially good at this and, and why you working with a good broker can really help you in the long run. And I'll catch you on the video. Hello everybody, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about why brokers are so good. Now, uh, let me tell you, it's all great saying, oh yeah, brokers have got access to this and brokers have got access to that. But let's talk about where brokers can make real big differences. And these are having access to intermediary, which means broker only lenders and what these lenders can do. So let's highlight some of those lenders that are exclusively available through brokers and dealing on the buy to let side of things. Okay, so if you're a buy to let landlord, why wouldn't you go to directly? Why would you go to a broker? And what could the broker do? Because unfortunately, although these lenders are broker only, not many people, not many consumers are aware of what's actually possible in the buy, buy to let arena. And this channel is about information, giving that information to yourselves so you can uh, interpret it and deal with it in the right way. So um, the great news is, is if you do want to use these lenders, you need to go buy a broker and the broker will give you those appropriate sort of advice around suitability and double checking the criteria and so forth. So, lender number one. Lender number one is a lender called Kent Reliance. Now, those of you that are uh, familiar in the, well, in the buy to let arena, you will know this lender. It's a pretty big lender within this market. Um, what are they good at? Well, they're very, very good at the professional landlords arena. So, limited company, LLP lending, um, HMO, small HMO, large HMOs, newly converted properties into HMO. They're one of the few lenders that do not want experience as such. A lot of the lenders have got like a year or two worth of experience if you're going to be a HMO landlord. So what happens is a lot of people have been using this lender over the years where they're buying properties maybe on bridging finance, converting it into a HMO and they're exiting on Kent Reliance. So very, very good, very good underwriting i have to say they're one of the best lenders for sensible underwriting you know sometimes you just put a case into an underwriter and they're just it, it looks like they're, they're in a different world sometimes they are in a different part of the world but um with with certainly with Kent Reliance, my experiences over the years has been they're quite um, sensible in their approach. They will take it, and the underwriters have got some power there. Um, so very criteria driven. I wouldn't I wouldn't think you know I wouldn't say they're the best in regards to pricing. Certainly their fee structure is quite expensive when you look at things. However, if you're looking to get a deal done, and if you want that in your arsenal, you need the flexibility, and they can do lots of different things. So I'll give you another example. Gifted deposits, okay? So a lot of lenders will do gifted deposits. Kent will do gifted deposit, but they also are one of the few lenders that will do gifted equity. Mum, dad want to gift the property to their children. Their children haven't got the deposit money. They want to gift the equity in there. So they're very good at that. They'll do annexes. They're one of the few lenders that will do annexes as well. Obviously, they'll take a, a you know, if it's a HMO, a little bit more tricky, but certainly they're, they're flexible. Uh, and that's all I can, I can say about them. So good lender. If you're a buy to let landlord, speak to your broker about this lender. Like I said, they're not going to be suitable for always. They're not going to be the cheapest out there, but very good on criteria. Um, since we're on the subject of criteria, another lender, a new lender that came into the market only a few months ago, Quantum Mortgages. Really good. You see, you wouldn't have heard of Quantum Mortgages. Only brokers have got access to them and only some brokers at the moment have got access to them, like Niche Advice. Well, what are they good at? Well, fantastic new lender, innovative the way they think. They've tried to go against the grain of the market. What do I mean by that? The market is all about... Um, you know, looking at properties, they're like, oh my God, there's too much exposure in the block. Quantum are good on that. 
Um, um, we don't like studio flats, small studio flats. Quantum are good on that. Um, the, the, in terms of, we want to know what you're raising your money for. Um, if, you're, if you're looking to remortgage and say you want to be a cash buyer on an auction, um, a lot of the lenders want to see an onward offer and so forth. Quantum are good at that. Um, they, they don't, you know, a lot of problems are out there when you're trying to buy properties and they're above commercials. Okay, Quantum are good at that. Obviously, it's all dependent on, on what they can and can't do. But they're flexible around criteria. Again, not the, pri not the cheapest lender in the market. That's not what they're, what they're trying to do. They're trying to go with the professional lenders. These are not the people that are, that are going to compare you to a Santander rate. Okay? That's, not, that's not their game. Their game is they want to be in professional land. Uh, you know, they want to deal with professional landlords. Um, often, they've got criteria where you must be a landlord if you're looking for a specialist product for a couple of years or you must have a couple of buy to let. So it's a different type of lender, but it's very good if you are a professional landlord and you've got that flexibility. So if you find the property and it's on a steal and you know other brokers can't get to it or other people may not be put off because of the exposure limits, the development site, there's too many buy to lets within a development. There's all sorts of reasons why you would go to this type of lender. So very good. The third lender is a lender that if you are a landlord, you would have heard of and you would have probably used. BM Solutions, okay? Another broker only lender. Part of the Lloyds Banking Group, used to be known as Halifax's sister company, pretty much still is, um, very well priced lender. And historically, um, you know, when you look at larger portfolios, when I see portfolios, they've always got a couple with BM Solutions. Why? Because, in fact, I've got one with them. Um, and, and basically, um, wh where they're very good at is they're, they're always there or thereabouts in pricing. From a criteria perspective, some of their highlight points are, again, studio flat. They don't have a minimum size for studio flat. Minimum income. They don't have a specific minimum income. So if you're on a lower income, as long as it makes sense and you've got some sort of income, they will look to do it. Very flexible on property types ex-local authority flats, deck access. So very, very good on that. Very well priced and also um, they've got a good um, uh, simple product transfer facility that goes via the brokers. However, um, they're, they're very good at that sort of stuff. So they're, what they're good at is they know what they're good at and they know what they don't want to do. So at the moment, they're not doing limited company buy to lets, for example, where they've gone against the trend because everybody's gone into the limited company. BM are not part of it. They may, that may change, but certainly in the last few years, that's not their bag. That's not what they want to do. Okay. So um, again, very, very good lender flexible good well priced i think a, a good overall lender out there again it's it's all dependent on the on the case the next lender is precise mortgages let's talk about precise mortgages they are a sister company of kent reliance right so they're all part of the one savings group so kent reliance uh, precise mortgages and another lender called Interbay which are within the uh, commercial market they're all part of the same group so how do they differ from precise in my opinion uh, sorry how do they differ from Kent Reliance in my opinion they're, they've got more um, uh, more out there uh, first of all they offer a residential range which we're not going to talk about and so does Kent but um, in regards to the buy to let side well they were one of the few sort of specialist lenders that actually came into the um, uh, secure, um, secure loan market as well as um, the uh, bridging finance market. So they're quite a big, big bridging lender and very well priced. What I would say is they are a squeaky clean, very, very well priced, but very bog standard bridging lender. They've got innovative products like the light refurbishment product. Light refurbishment product is if you're gonna buy a property, you need to lick a paint, new boiler, EPC's low, things like that, you put that on a um, bridging, uh, it's called the light refurb product. The same value goes there. You tell them what you're gonna do to the property. The value goes, yeah, it makes sense. Once this is all done, we think the value will be there. You do it at that valuation so with one valuer. So, and then basically then that, that flips, once you've done the work, it flips into a buy to let. So it takes all of the nervousness out of going for bridging finance. As long as it doesn't need heavy refurbishments and planning permissions and stuff like that. Very, very good tool. Very good at high, um, high uh, rental calculation needs areas. So central London, what you will find is the rental calculation doesn't fit very well to your average lender. That's where Precise comes into the play and they've been, they've been doing that cons constantly for the last few years, they've been in that market. Um, in terms of their pricing, they're very competitive, they're always out there. Um, like I said, limited company, um, all personal names. They're very good, they're one of the lenders if you are looking to sell a property that your own residential into a 
so often and this needs tax advice guys so you need to speak to a tax advisor but we have had some people have said look you know I, i'm a high rate taxpayer i want to sell my residential instead of doing a normal let's to buy uh, where you uh, rent your property out and then you go and buy another one what they want to do is they want to sell their property to their residential uh, the, sorry they want to sell their residential property to their own limited company so well we, we can do that with this lender as long as there is an onward purchase you need serious tax advice to make sure that that does make sense because there are consequences stamp duty and so forth so um, but they have they have done this uh, the, these type of deals before again a very flexible lender um, from an underwriting perspective what the downside side is although they're flexible I don't think they're as um, business minded as the Kent Reliance people now I know they've merged their sales team and they've probably merged their underwriting team so ho hopefully the Kent Reliance lot are, are, are looking after the underwriting because that's my, my experience but again to be honest with you there they've been always on point they've been a lender that have been um, one of the um, lenders that really have, have others have tried to imitate and they've been around for a long long time part of the one savings group so a, a large uh, intermediary based lender so very very good and they also offer products Product transfers just like Kent Reliance they offer product transfers for so when your existing say five-year fixed buy to let runs out you, they are currently giving you options so you know you can you can uh, switch that product across um, and the last lender that I'm going to talk about is Kensington mortgages now Kensington are one of the oldest intermediary based specialist lenders in the market so they've been around for a long long time right so what that means is they've been around for a long long time and they've dealt with a lot of things um, so they know the market well there are rumors at the moment I read I'm sure I read uh, in this week that Barclays are maybe looking to purchase them but where they're quite good is they've always been in the specialist market so historically they used to be in the adverse market and, and the credit impaired market and stuff like that they still deal with that market um, but they're also very good on the buy to let side they've got some really neat uh, HMO products nice pricing good affordability calculations now when you google them sometimes you do hear nightmare stories simply because they've been playing in the adverse market for so many years and they've been around for so long but um, we find them a, a good flexible lender in terms terms of uh, uh, criteria they're very good pricing are good, good as well so um, that's another lender that brokers you know it's been a go-to lender for, uh, for, for brokers for many many years since I've been in the mortgage industry and I've been around about 20 years now so they've been they've been around so uh, these are some of the lenders that brokers have access to and these are some of the reasons why you should go and speak to a broker and I'm not talking about just coming and seeing niche advice I'm talking about all brokers because it really depends on whether you gel with that broker and what that broker brings to the table the worst question I get is on the first conversation is how much do you charge what do you do well a broker can be as what you know a broker can be in so important to your portfolio working with the right broker dealing with the right type of lenders it's so important okay don't be short-sighted in regards to well such and such broker doesn't charge a fee or they've said they'll do this and they'll you know have a look at what they've got access to have a look at the knowledge that they've got because having these type of lenders okay a broker have got lots and lots of lenders uh, access and and some of these are I've just highlighted some of the criteria out there and that's why majority of the buy to let business in the UK at the moment is coming via the broker channel and these are because the brokers have got access to your normal Santander's and your Skipton's and your I don't know your Barclays and your NatWest yeah we've got access to all of those however there is always a need what happens if the property is not quite right what happens if the income's not right what happens if your age is not right what happens if you're looking to bring other people in there what happens if you want to use four of you in there what happens if you don't if you've got a big portfolio in the background and, and maybe one or two of those properties are empty how does that affect your standard bog standard property what happens if you're looking to do up a property and flip it so there are lender choices for all of that and working with the right broker will enable you to make money and I'll catch you on the next one so important guys this is for information purposes please do not take this as advice please the content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.